What's up everybody? In this video I will show you some ways to make your Samsung Galaxy phone faster. Samsung loads their phones with a lot of garbage apps that are simply not needed to use the phone. This makes the Samsung budget phones run slower. The main way to make your Galaxy phone faster is to remove apps that you don't need. I recently made a video showing you how to remove any app that you want from your Android phone. A link to that video will be in this video description. The next way to make your Galaxy phone faster is by reducing transition animations and limiting background processes. As you transition from one app or window to the next one, there is an animation. Reducing the animation will make your phone appear faster. Turn on developer settings by going into settings, scroll down to about phone, select software information, tap on build number multiple times until developer settings turns on. Then go back to settings, Select Developer Options. Scroll down until you see the Drawing section. Click on Window Animation Scale and decrease it to either Off or 0.5 times. Click on Transition Animation Scale and decrease it to either Off or 0.5x. Click on Animation Duration Scale and decrease it to either Off or 0.5 times. While you're still in the Developer Settings, scroll down to the App section. Click on Background Process Limit, select at most 4 processes. This will reduce the number of processes running in the background. The budget Samsung Galaxy phones usually have a small storage capacity. Like this A12 here, it has 32GB of storage. That fills up quickly if you have a lot of photos and videos. You can upgrade your storage with a microSD card. You can set your photos and videos to be stored on your SD card. And you can also move large files into your SD card. As you open apps, your phone keeps the apps running in the background. If you feel your phone is slowing down, closing all the apps running in the background can help your phone run smoother. Click the button to view all open windows. Click on Close All. Samsung has a program that lets you optimize your phone. Go into Settings, scroll down to Battery and Device Care. If you have not used your phone much, it might say great and it won't show the optimize button. Other times it may say good and you can press the button to optimize your phone. This is just a general optimization. You can automate this process by clicking the menu, select automation, select on auto optimize daily and make sure that it's on and it's at a time that you want. You don't have to wait for the phone to auto-optimize at the scheduled time. Whenever you want to free up some RAM memory, you can go into Memory Options and click on Clean Now. Phones usually have a lot of sensors turned on by default. Those sensors are always running in the background, but you can turn off some of these sensors if you don't need them. Most phones have GPS automatically turned on. I personally only have GPS on when I'm using Google Maps. The location button turns GPS on and off. When GPS is turned on, the location icon lights up blue. To turn off GPS, press the button again. You will also see this message about not being able to find your phone with GPS off. If you are the type of person that's always losing their phone, then don't turn off GPS. Most phones also have Bluetooth automatically turned on. I personally only turn on Bluetooth when I'm using my Bluetooth headset. To turn off Bluetooth, go to your notifications bar and click to turn off Bluetooth. Most phones also have NFC automatically turned on. To turn it off, go into Settings, Connections, Turn off NFC. If you use your phone to pay for stuff when shopping at a store, you'll need to turn NFC back on in order to pay with your phone. Google's Chrome browser is one of the fastest browsers out there. Samsung Galaxy phones should come with Chrome already pre-installed. So use that instead of the other app that's known as Samsung Internet. If your phone is slowing down, sometimes restarting it can help it run smoothly again. Press and hold the power button and select restart. You can also set the phone to restart on a schedule. You can find this in the settings menu under battery and device care. Click on Menu, Automation, and click on Auto Restart at Set Times. Press the button to turn it on and select a desired time. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so I can continue making more helpful content.